I hope everybody can appreciate the ridiculousness of this. Look <laughs> at this. Got the light right there, the microphone there, my foot goes in between the pedal just to get a shot of the signature. Yes. I'm getting ready to do an art walk this Thursday. This Thursday's art walk in my town. If you have an art walk in your area, I can't encourage you enough to do it. There's so much fun to get out there with your work. I'd so much rather have people in my neighborhood have my work than to send it off to a gallery or something like that where you don't know who gets it. It's, I can't just, it's so incredibly awesome to have people in your neighborhood, have your artwork, use your mugs, and eat off your work. So I just can't encourage you enough just to really go out there and do art walk. And so I'm getting ready for that. I'm gonna draw the center line here. I'm gonna draw a walrus here. So making pots for artwork, I'm way behind on inventory. And so I need to make some work here. Mugs are always popular. So I'm gonna make a few mugs here tonight. Get them in the kiln. And I got a couple days before Art Walk to get them all glazed and fired, but it's gonna be tight. So I don't usually do a vlog. I guess this is the, I guess you'd call this a vlog. And most of my videos are how-to. So let me know if you like this style. I guess I haven't make, been making a lot of how-tos lately because I've been busy with um, renovating my house and um, you know just making art walk, artwork. For art walk so let me know if you like this I thought why not if I'm out in my studio anyway just record what I'm doing and um, if you enjoy it let me know a nice little walrus here a little old snout and let me know if you like this style and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I'll probably do another vlog like this Let's make this one uh, later on in the week when I actually go do Art Walk. This week's going to be super busy for me. But I just love doing Art Walk. If I didn't say that like 80 times already, I love doing Art Walk. The walrus. Some little eyes there. Doop. Deep. We're going to cover them in wax and do the Mishima technique. Get in there good on that handle. This is porcelain. It's bone dry. I just heard some thunder. It's early November here in Florida, still getting thunderstorms. You can hear the air conditioner rocking and rolling in my studio right now. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Wooey, thunderstorm coming. Check that out. Okay, we got a whole bunch more over here drying. I'm gonna do another one. I've got another one here. Can't wait for that thunderstorm coming. Yes. I'm gonna go a little bit lower with this walrus. Where's the halfway? Halfway in between the mug sides. So I'm splitting that down the middle. Oops, not quite halfway. Pretty close. I'm gonna come up. I might have to go watch that thunderstorm. Come down, try to get the symmetrical. I just, I mean, why not have fun in your studio, right? So let's make this one a, this is gonna be a cross between a narwhal and a walrus, or war wall, if you will. This is the horn, add the spiral. that narwhal twist. Oh, 
Oh, that thunder's coming. I don't know if you can hear that thunder, but it's coming in good. It's out to the west. This is a coastal area of Florida. Sometimes the weather moves in from the west. Sometimes it moves in from the east, but I hope it's coming this way. Center line. Got room for the eyes. His teeth. Yeah, yeah. Gonna do the same thing over here. Where's the center line? Bring that curve up. Why not put them on both sides, right? I know a lot of people say left-handed or right-handed mug. Put them on both sides. Why not? Love this stuff. I put it in a, a separate cup because uh, one of the things I found is is that when you're brushing over it, you get these little clay boogers right here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you get those little clay boogers, and um, even if you brush them away, you're gonna get some little clay boogers, and they'll go on back into the liquid. And if you're using it right out of the jar then you're going to be putting those clay boogers in your jar of black underglaze. So that's no good. So I put it, I always put it in a separate little container here. I'm going to be painting it on. I'm just really loosely paint it on. And then I have, I get into a rhythm. I'll paint one. I'll paint the second one. And while the second one is drying, then I wipe off the first one. And it's a pretty good rhythm. I'm gonna get a sponge here. I just use my throwing sponge and rinse it, wipe it, and I keep on rinsing that sponge. Wipe it, rinse it, and I keep on repeating that. I try not to touch the bottom, doesn't have any wax on it, so I gotta be really careful not to touch it with my hands, which may have black underglaze on them or the sponge. You see me using weird parts of my hand. Forgot a little spot right there. You see that? Bam, bam. I just can't get enough of this process. So fun. Now this is going to react with um, my glaze and it'll streak a little bit. We're gonna put a uh, neodymium glaze in there, which changes colors in different lights. And right in the horns. And an erbium glaze, which is a nice pink. And we'll put the rest with the clear. We've got a nice drippy action going on. Okay, that's pretty good. And I can just keep on doing that. I get my little system. Works very well.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. I gotta get back to glazing the rest of these things and get them in the kiln for Art Walk on Thursday. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment. It's what makes it fun for me and have a great night.